I have roughly 40 hours on the Craft Plus tank, so it's time to share some feedback with you guys. Hey, what's up guys, Rado here, and as I said, I have roughly 40 hours on this uh, expansion tank plush tank whatever you call it this is from the craft moto i have to say that uh, i did not ride it on the stock suspension so when i got the bike uh, we took the suspension out and sent it to a race tech they did it to my uh, skills and weight and, and all that good stuff and it felt good you know like uh I think many of you guys watching this video, you probably don't feel every single marble on the trails, but if the suspension feels good, I can tell it feels good. But then later I got this uh, tank from Kraft and uh, I was just curious, like, hey, what if it gets better? First of all, the installation is pretty straightforward. You just need to be careful with this bolt right here. It's threading in, so you have to be 100% straight. Don't cross thread that because, uh, man, you don't want to be replacing the forks because, because you you strip the thread right here so you got to be careful with that and uh, other than that it's pretty straightforward they ship it to you in the box with the instructions you just follow step by step so once you have it installed you take this one out and then you just connect your your pump that you have for air fork connect it right here it's pretty simple straightforward and then pump it up to the desired PSI. I usually have it on 130 for, for my riding. That's where I feel good. 210 pounds, you know, kind of, uh, I don't know what I would say, novice on the trails and uh, usually technical riding, not too much jumps and it feels great. So at this point, 130 PSI here at the fork, I will disconnect this. Put it back where it belongs. And then uh, I have this switch back here i'll show you all right guys so hope you can see it now i'm holding these cables uh, out of the way and this one as well so that's the that's the switch you have plush on the top firm on the bottom you just flip it like that and uh you really do feel the difference once you flip it so i usually keep it on a plush like 98 percent probably i only had it on firm for like two rides and the plush really gives you the plush feel it is what they what i promise uh that's that's the way i would put it now one downside, a negative thing that I came across when I was playing with it, you know, uh, this is XC, right? And it comes with, uh, with a plate, number plate like this. So there's no headlight and this thing is skinny. There is nothing on it. So this is not in a way. But as soon as I try to install headlight, I got this headlight set up and you have something here that is a little more bulky. This tank is in the way. So when I put it here right now, it's it's not fitting correctly so i was actually playing with this tank trying to move it like back and forth up and down slide the bracket down and i was still hitting the radiator so if i really want to put a headlight with this tank i would have to grind off this side right here because these uh, sharp edges are, are hitting my radiator so i would have to grind it quite a bit maybe like a quarter inch off if i can and then play with it somehow so i can fit everything correctly and some guys you know they they run gps and and all kinds of stuff here and there is this motor-minded bracket that you can you can have for for your headlight setup so once you get busy in front then this thing might be in the way and that's the only downside that i found so far i am with the air suspension but i'm running that uh, plush tank from craft and it's working really well it gives it more plush kind of springy feel i have it on plush you can go plush or firm on the tank itself there is a switch i have it on uh, plush all the time and it feels really good i could definitely feel the difference and not only me, whoever rides the bike, they, they complement the suspension. You know, for what I ride, I don't see a point to get like a cone valve for my off-road riding for this bike. Because with this stock suspension and the Kraft expansion tank, it works just fine for me. I don't think I will need more suspension than this unless I get into racing like real hard off-road racing then yeah maybe then 
but for what I do right now it's plenty and uh, yeah way cheaper way way cheaper I put 130 psi in my fork flip, flip it to plus and works really good we're not taking any hard hits no big jumps nothing like that sometimes a little hit and majority of these uh, chops and uh, you know kind of high speed bumps and some slow stuff too and it's doing amazing really we've been riding six hours yesterday I hit zero arm pump I ride quite a lot with Jay Clark from Dirt Bike TV and we rode trails together. He rode his bike uh, without a plush tank and with a plush tank. So I also asked him to share some feedback with us. Okay, we really liked the air setup that Race Tech had done to modify it. Of course, I still kind of prefer spring forks. But for me, when, they, when Rado added on the Kref kit, it just made it really plush, like amazing feeling. Um, kind of almost better than my spring forks and on, on some cases when we were off in the trails on the tight trails and off in the desert you know faster whooped out stuff it felt pretty amazing so if you have air fork and you want to get a little better feel from the air fork because let's be honest it's not the best suspension out there you can make it better if somebody works on it for sure then another route would be to uh, do the conversion race tech has a conversion kit uh, single spring uh, it's not cheap, but it works great. I have it on my uh, on my motorbike on the Husky 350, and yeah, it works amazing. It has that spring feel, and and it's really good. I don't need any cone well for my speed. Uh, but this right here, this is 295, and this is something that you guys can do in your garage. You don't need any. Uh, professional company to install it for you. Uh, there is no fees to it. You buy it for 295, as I said, there is, comes in a box with the instruction, follow the video below and you should be able to install it. Just be careful threading that the top thing. You don't want to cross thread. And other than that, as I said, it's pretty straightforward. So I think it's, it's really good to talk about this and look into it. If you have air fork and you are trying to get more out of that fork, and if you are mostly on the trails, flipping that switch into plush really makes a difference. All right, so overall, definitely a good product. If you guys are looking to upgrade your air suspension and you don't want to spend too much, I think this is the most economical way. And as I said, this is something you can do at home in your garage. Now, as I said, the, the negative uh, you know, point is that it is right here and it's kind of bulky. You know, you, you can't really avoid it. And even if you move it back and forth and around and if you have your headlight here and some other setup, some guys, they, they run all kinds of GPS and things it might be in the way. So uh, as I said, you know, I was trying to install my headlight and uh, I would have to grind some stuff of this bracket because I was, it was hitting my, uh, my um, radiator. So definitely the, the fitting uh, has to be a little bit adjusted if I want to run headlight and have some more stuff here. But for this plate right here, if you have XC, it's pretty much no headache. You install it, you can put it up and down, or you can even like twist it outside. It's not touching anything that it's not supposed to. So if you run XC without headlight, there is no worries at all. All right, my friends. Well, that's about it uh, for this video. Share your comments below. If you have this tank or, you know, if you have any question, let me know below in the comments. I'll try to answer. And don't forget, guys, whatever you do, stay motivated. See you guys later.